Okay, in this video, I want to get you guys up to speed with how to actually compile, or assemble, sorry, assemble your uh, LC3 code. So, the way that we're going to do that, we're first going to actually open up a new program that we want to write. Just something something simple. gvim ex1.asm. Uh, It'll create that file if it doesn't exist. So, let's go ahead and create a dot org and tell where, where we want the program to start from so the first bit will be hex 3000 and i i want to go ahead and add a dot end just to show that anything after this does not do anything dot fill uh hex a, -A, -A, -A. and let's go ahead and add a couple of other things over here just just for some placements dot fill um hex uh dead uh dot fill uh, x beef. Eh, let's go ahead and copy these and then make it a little bit more interesting. So we've got our dot fills here, and I'm gonna go ahead and swap these two lines just because I can. And let's rename it. Let's call this one beef, and this one will be like deaf beef or deaf beef. That thing. Okay, and then let's do some uh, adding over here just for funsies. Add our uh, zero r zero dollar sign one add r zero or sorry r one r one and let's give this one a value of like seven or something and then let's just add these two numbers together add um r uh two r one and of course these are case insensitive so it doesn't matter if they're capital or lower case um value so this is just gonna be um r2 equals r1 plus r0 and this is just going to be um r1 equals r1 plus 7 uh, assuming that r1 is set originally to 0 um that may not be the case you uh, in your later class like later programs be sure to like check that r0 um equals and then r0 plus one. So this final value over here should be r2 equals two eight. Okay, easy enough, right? So we've got this function over here. Dot org tells us where we want our program to start in memory. So the first address where we want to write this um this instruction is going to be put at hex three thousand. So when we can uh, assemble it, the first Thing that we'll see is a hex 3000 then we'll see these three instructions these uh, four values directly written in memory and this shouldn't exist at all we'll never see this hex AAA but when you run the program when the LC3 actually sees it this will be taken out it'll just use this as the loading address and then at address 3000 this will be written so I'm gonna go ahead and write uh, I'm gonna copy this and do this at um place and then paste at address hex 3000 okay so we've got that done I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write quit and so we've got this is our only thing here so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit LC so we get the options that we have and what we want to run here is the LC3 assembler there's a difference between LC3 AS and LC3 convert if you're writing your uh, code directly in the binary form, you would do it in LC3 convert. Otherwise, you would write it in LC3 AS. Okay, so let's LC3 AS and then our ex1.asm. Okay, it tells us that all text after the dot end are going to be ignored. That's good, meaning the hex AAA will not show up. And there are no errors. So the code compiled. So now if we look, we have our symbol table and then our object file. So let's, I actually haven't ever looked at these symbol tables. Let's see what's in the symbol table symbol table so if you happen to have uh functions that are uh written in there like labels for instance let me let me go ahead and create a label let me let me create a label uh so gvim ex1.asm real fast so let's label this um uh what should, what should i call this i'm gonna say like um data or something like i'm i'm super super creative right now let's do that double dot fill tabs don't matter so quit that come over here and then let's 
LC3AS again, zero errors, and then now we can look at the symbol table. Now you'll see that data is going to be at this address. Um, and we'll cover symbol tables more in more detail in a later um, a later video. So I'll, I'll, I'll put that aside for now. But let's look at this other file that we have. Um, ls. Okay, so let's gvim this ex1.obj. The object format, this looks scary. And like we're all like, what, what the heck is this? That is actually a binary form that we're going to be dumping directly into the simulator. The same thing that machine code runs off of, zeros and ones. So if we want to actually read this, Vim is great for it. We just go to tools and then convert to hex. And then now you can see what it's writing in memory in 16-bit format, or this is all going to be in hexadecimal. So hex 3000, hex 1021, 1267, 1440, uh, and those actually, like, um, I'm going to go ahead and supersize this real fast, control WV, create a new one, and then let's open up the thing that we had from before, the ex1.asm. So hex 3000, our origin value, 1021, that's this um, instruction, 1267, this instruction, uh, 1440, this instruction, and then you see dead, beef, beef, def. And then um, this part over here is actually just like the, I, I never really figured out what this chunk over here kind of is. I think this is uh, in a type of conversion that they do depending on whatever this data might be in a x86 instruction set basically whatever the computer runs off of so for this class you can ignore this entire set of fields you'll just want to look at these things and make sure that they line up okay so that's the code that we're going to be running into the simulator so let's let's actually do that real fast um just as an example so i'm going to go ahead and close that and we can do lc3 um sim dash tk so there's two ways that we can do this we can do lc3 sim dash tk and then we can go to browse and then load the object file which will if you see here I, we put the add instruction at hex 3000 and then you see the dot fills at uh, this data label fill dead bife bife uh def and see how uh, in another video i mentioned that you guys might see like this little thing over here might be off well we actually said that these are dot fills and if these dot fills do not show up properly, like if um, they they may actually represent an instruction as far as the um, the LC3 is concerned. So if I happen to have the program counter here at 3004, it would treat this as an instruction. But we want to treat it as data, so that's that's how we're going to represent it. And I'll I'll go over that in just a few minutes. So that this is just one way of loading it: manually going over here, file, load, browse, and then run that. Or we can do this, lc3sim-tk, and then ex1.obj. Automatically loads it. First try, don't have to do anything. And then now we can do next, next, next. And you see here, uh, in this case, the first register is one. Um, R1, add R1, R17. It looks like R1 already had something in it. Like I was saying before, those values might have um numbers already in them and then r2 is now going to be this one plus one so that makes sense that that added let's let's go ahead and fix that let's gvim um and then our ex1.obj not obj sorry i'm i'm stupid ex1.asm let's come over here and let's clear these values um and what options are available for the lc3 I can sometimes I forget so let's look at this LC3 instructions Google is apparently the Google's the the secret trick to to engineers like people wonder like how we're able to fix things a lot of times and how we're able to um, figure out computers like it, it's a mystery to them and the real trick is just like open up Google it's really sad <laughs> okay so these are the instructions that we have available on the LC3. Add and branch, jump, jump to service or subroutine, load instructions, load effective address, not return trap. Okay, so 
let's go ahead and and this these values with zero. So eh, that'll effectively clear it. Or you can also do not. Not also works. Um, I wonder. I'll do it both ways. Let's do it both ways. Not sr1. So not r0 r0. And I think that's all I have to write for not. Let's take a look at that real fast. Not source register, and then these values are all going to be ones. Just so you guys know, uh, as a side note, these instructions, this is the sort of thing that they're converted to when you actually do your machine code. So before when I was doing the ad, you notice how every single one in the object format over here, uh, let me go ahead and create a new um, drill W V. Come on, drill W. What the heck? Oh, I was in drill W V. There we go. I was not in escape mode. If I come over to this uh, object form uh, here, and then of course tools convert to hex, one, one, and one for the add. The add instruction here is just using one. And then the next three bits specify the de uh, destination register, source register, and then these might be the other values if this happens to be like three R zeros, which is the case. And um, well, it's actually not the case in this one. In this case, we use an immediate. So destination, source, then we have a one every single time to um, say that this add is gonna have an immediate five bits, which specify this value over here, one and seven. So just as a side note, you can only spec like, you have to make sure that all of your numbers plus or minus can fit within this range of five bits that you put in this immediate value. It should warn you about that. Okay, so not R0, R0 should be the only thing I have to write here. And let's go ahead and do this the other way. So and R1, um, R1 comma dollar sign zero. And these, these values over here, if you keep scrolling down, you'll see like actually how they're formatted and what they do. So if bit five equals equals zero, dr equals source one plus source two, as well as like how you would write it in the assembler. And then it tells you like what the thing actually does. And then some examples. So, and then the other one would be sign extended immediate 15. Sign extending is just gonna take whatever this bit is and make it a 16 bit value. So if this is a zero, these are all gonna be zeros. If this is a one, these are all gonna be ones when you do your uh, looking at the immediate five bits. Not, not, not saying like this, this instruction is gonna be like zero in all ones. I'm saying that this value, like when we look at just the immediate five, we can treat it in the processor as a 16 bit value, even though it only has five bits available in our encoding. Okay, so we've got that and let's make sure that our and instruction is correct. Yep, we've got and, and then let's scroll down over here to the not instruction. Not just has dr and sr, got it. So let's save that, um, go back to our terminal, and then let's lc3 assemble, and then our ex1.asm. Okay, one error, unknown label v. Where is this label v? Okay, our hex dead beef got overwritten. There we go. Zero errors, this hex a does not show up of course. Okay, um, and let me go ahead and reload this. Um, if I do it this way, it should work. Load file. Okay, so now we've got this. Convert to hex, and now you see we've got 3,000, but now the first instruction over here is not this add uh, instruction like we said before, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this line. It's now this not instruction, yank, yank and then paste i and then we'll put that there so if we go over to our uh thing here we notice that one zero zero one which is um if that's eight and that's one then that's nine so when we look at this the first should be a nine. First bit nine good so these are the values that we're dumping in so let's run it in the simulator it's going to click over here and lc3 sim ex1.obj and now it's loaded so if i go to our next it's going to clear our, um, not R0, oh, R0, R0 was already set to zero, so now it's all ones, and so this is now negative one, um, and now it's going to add zero, so we're just going to get seven and seven. Okay, so that's that part, but let's go ahead and fix that one more time, so now we know that not doesn't work, so we need to um, set this to and, r0, r0, dollar sign zero, 
and let's go ahead and make sure that we don't ever get run these dot fill instructions so let's do a halt halt just tells the processor to to stop moving it goes to like a it goes to a specific uh, interrupt service routine or event service routine that uh, keeps the processor in a like known state okay so that's that we fixed the other part and now it should work so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the um, the simulator run that real fast and then let's just go back to the simulator again don't need that and uh, at hex 3000 and add 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 halt and then these are our dead beef values so next zero of course now it our one is properly zero R, um, and let's go ahead and start adding. So R0 is now 1, R1 is now 7, and R2 is now 8. So we have now successfully added. So now our processor is halted. So if I hit continue, it won't do anything. Uh, but if I happen to reset the LC3, so now it's back in the original state, and I just hit continue, it'll automatically halt, and you can see these values over here don't make sense. So let's reset one more time, and before halting, let's put a breakpoint. Just double click over here. If I can continue, it'll stop here, and then now we can see our values. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video for today. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, let me know.